sisters preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries we first call to mind our sins I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words what I've done what I failed to do through my fault through my fault most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, you my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God, you have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever, and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on my land. So I went up to the angel and I told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How, How sweet, sweet to my taste, taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. 
Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to me is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever, the joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I grasp with open mouth in my yearnings for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, my house is a house of prayer, and you've made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests and scribes, the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking a way to put him to death. But they could not find a way to accomplish their purpose, because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, yesterday we heard uh, Jesus at the entrance of Jerusalem weeping over the town uh, on the Mount of Olives uh, before his descent uh, to the Mount of Olives and up uh, to Jerusalem. And uh, today he's in the temple. So uh, this is like, like you know, from uh, 10 chapters now, uh, Jesus has been going to Jerusalem. Now he has arrived, and what does he do? You know, tries to purify it as a prophet, arriving as a prophet, and uh, you know, saying, uh, cleansing it, saying, you know, you got to be purified at the temple. You know, Ezekiel, I mean, Ezekiel, it's like Ezekiel in Revelations, like Ezekiel, St. John eats the scroll, uh, kind of like Ezekiel, that's when he was called, he ate the scroll, and it was. Um, sweet a taste and bitter in his stomach and saying what John here in receiving the scroll of the you know in revelations it's a sweet thing to know God he has said something to you or you get inspiration by God or a mission from him thinking God should do this and um, not only big things like John the, you know we're called to but most of all here on the subject smaller things Forgiving someone, having a sensitive conversation with one of your children, encouraging a friend or a co-worker, maybe even with a verse of scripture. To be given an uplifting word to somebody, to be given direction by the Lord, it's exhilarating. Right up to, you actually have to act. Then you might find yourself getting a nervous, sour stomach. But take heart. Remember that God loves you and entrusts you with his word. Whether it's a message for someone else or some guidance for yourself. Take time. Don't rush. The Lord is patient and understanding. He knows you might need time to digest what he says. Finally, take courage. He says, I'll never fail you or forsake you. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed. May this Eucharist give us guidance 
and the strength to do the Lord's will and speak what the Lord has to say. For Pope Francis, may the Lord guide and sustain him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God bless them with fortitude in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mourning the loss of a loved one, May the Lord fill them with the presence and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this community of faith, discerning a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, may God's grace, peace, grace and peace be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Sister Mary Jane Musinger, Sister of St. Joseph, and all the faithful departed, may they rest in the peace of the Father's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We especially pray for the intentions listed in the All Souls Remembrance book, and any special intentions you may wish to voice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For successful efforts of containing the coronavirus and for healing those who are sick with the virus and all illnesses, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Here to answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray my sacrifice, yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things. 
whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory with one voice we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and really into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body, the blood of Christ, brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the saints, the apostles, the martyrs, those who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by his teachings, we pray. Our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Like Jesus, I believe you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. Desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Uh, this, again, remember that confessions are starting on Saturday tomorrow at 4 o'clock, and they'll be in the west vestibule of the church on Saturdays. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Amen. God's blessings upon you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Have a good day.